ESPA or ESPA represents technicians, the workers that are installing, maintaining, and upgraded 21st century technology, the folks behind the scenes in many cases to make our lives a whole lot easier with technology. The executive director for the Electronic Systems Professionals Alliance, ESPA, is Grant Midland. Grant, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Great to be back with you, Dave. It's a pleasure to have you with us as well because you guys are really rallying a bunch of people together in this industry that continues to grow and continues to need qualified people to really help us get it all together. Absolutely. Yeah, we have, uh, luckily, we were formed by three key associations CEA, CEDIA, and NSCA. And now we're about to go into our launch year. Big uh, 2009 will be very important for us, but it's critical for us to make sure that we get the foundational entry-level skills right for our workers. That's really our mission. And I would imagine that some of what you're doing, correct me if I'm wrong, would be to take perhaps uh, some military vets, mm -hmm. uh, young folks who are looking for a career path, uh, and others for that matter, to help them learn more about what's going on how do you help them become a tech in the technology industry? Sure. Um, our, first fo our, our focus for the next two years will be mainly the infield techs that are, uh, uh, that are currently working for these great companies but are not certified. But we will be moving on to our long-term focus, which will be in the academic channel for high schools, community colleges, et cetera. And then, as you mentioned, those career switchers, so important the veterans who have served our country so proudly. We're giving them the opportunity to take those unique skills they've learned in electronics and come back and get a job here uh, and working in these great industries. Because yeah, in many cases, they already know, oh, especially yeah. working in the military, developing those mm -hmm. skills and that sort of thing, but now being able to be certified. So certified, why is that so important in this industry especially? Well, it's important. Uh, for a few reasons. A, it, it really uh, uh, gives a credential. It shows that they know the skills. And a lot of folks have been hired for certain jobs and they walk in the door and the boss realizes, well, maybe they didn't have the training they needed. Yeah. The certification is that credential. So it's worked so importantly in a lot of different industries and we now have the opportunity to make sure that uh, the individual can prove they have the skills. The consumer knows they're getting certified techs to come work on their products and employers have, know they're hiring folks with the skills they need. Now, would this include such things as maybe helping me set up my home theater in my house or, and or working uh, in a factory environment or assembling uh, pieces of gear or all of the above? The entire gamut. That's why uh, CEA, CD, and NSCA representing that whole uh, gamut of the industry uh, came together and said we needed the foundational level skills done right yeah. and then we will help provide the career pathing so those individuals will be able to say I want to go to home theater, I want to stay in commercial, I want to go off and do some exciting things with telecom, satellite, IT. The idea is let's make sure that the electronic systems technician skills are done right starting off you know, correctly and then build those skills and we really we all know we all know today sort of a lifelong commitment to reskilling and yes. learning new trades. And it seems, sounds to me like the alliance is in a position to really help some of these folks learn more career paths. Maybe they've already doing well in home theater, get certified, learn some of the upper aspects too where they can make additional money. Absolutely, and we've just come out with a brand new survey talking about the industry. You can get those at ESPA.org and hear about our different um, uh, testing sites and opportunities and our new pre-test assessment that's coming out soon. So really we have a whole wide array of products and opportunities for those technicians to become great industry leaders. Terrific. Well, Grant, keep up the good work and stay in touch with us. Let us know what else is happening with ESPA. Visit ESPA.org for more information information on what the Electronic Systems Professionals Alliance is doing for us consumers and for those who want to be more heavily involved in this industry from a technician standpoint. Great stuff going on. Check it out, ESPA.org. Stay tuned next hour or come by and visit the podcast at our website from highlights from Macworld and Showstoppers as Into Tomorrow continues.